For those who grew up watching Bayside High School's Cool Crew, plus Screech, Zach Morris was the ultimate authority on leaving button-up shirts open and rocking rad sneakers. Meanwhile, Kelly, Jesse, and Lisa were Girl Squad goals before that was even a thing, and AC Slater proved it's hip for guys to do ballet. Behind the scenes, though, the cast has dealt with troubles a lot worse than the ones listed in the theme song. If the teacher pops a test, I know I'm in a mess, and I dog it on my homework last night. Prepare to have your childhood ruined with these dark secrets that haunted the cast of Saved by the Bell. Mr. Belding would not approve of any of this. Zoinks! Dustin Diamond was hardly the innocent, doe-eyed dude he portrayed on TV. The actor behind Screech was sentenced to jail for four months in 2015 after he was convicted of concealing a weapon and disorderly conduct after stabbing someone during a Christmas Day bar brawl. Diamond claimed he was defending his girlfriend after she was insulted and assaulted, and the victim's wounds were reportedly not serious. It's not like what you see on TV, I'll tell you that. Diamond did a second stretch behind bars in the spring of 2016 after allegedly violating his parole. You pig. Jesse Spano spent a lot of time schooling A.C. Slater on the proper treatment of women, but it looks like his real-life counterpart should have been taking notes. Mario Lopez was accused of sexual assault not once, but twice during the show's prime. In 1993, an 18-year-old girl claimed she was date-raped by Mario Lopez, and a second victim emerged shortly after the first allegations were made public. Prosecutors dismissed the claims for lack of evidence, but in Dustin Diamond's explosive tell-all, Behind the Bell, he said NPC execs paid the accuser to keep her mouth shut, and that Lopez often displayed aggressive sexual behavior on the set and didn't take no for an answer. Of course, two can play at the memoir mudslinging game, and Lopez dished his own pile of dirt on his former co-star in his book, just Between Us, writing that Diamond displayed some lewd and crude behavior himself, like taking Polaroid pictures of his nether regions on set. And I got along with Dustin, too. I got along with I was probably the only one that really, like, kind of, like, I, I was really cool with them. And he was a little quirky, and you know, but because uh, he was a couple years younger. But at that time, you know, when you're a teenager, it's a, it's a big difference. Perhaps that was just an indication of things to come? Shortly after the Saved by the Bell spin-off spun out, Diamond capitalized on the craze one last time for a 2006 sex tape he starred in and directed, with the unfortunate title, Screeched, Saved by the Smell. Yuck. Hot hookups. The young love of Kelly and Zack might have been series canon, but behind the scenes, the exchanges of ardor were a bit more complicated. Mark Paul Gossler himself once admitted that most of the cast members dated one another throughout the filming process and that it became a bit incestuous. He was first romantically linked to the actress who played Lisa, Lark Voorhees, for three years, no less, even while his on-screen interest was Tiffany Amber Thiessen's character, Kelly. According to Diamond's version of the story, both Gossler and Lopez had dealings with all three of their female co-stars stars at some point or another. He wrote in his book, quote, If Kelly was interested in Slater one week, then backstage there was a lot going between them in Mario's room. Then if Jesse kisses Zach, then you know Elizabeth Berkeley is going in Mark Paul's room." End quote. Lopez admitted in his biography that he definitely cheated on co-star Tiffany Amber Thiessen when they were together. He wrote, quote, "...there was so much beauty everywhere and I had so much affection to share." End quote. Did we say yuck once already? Turtle Smash those faithful to the Lisa Turtle school of sass might be sad to know that the actress has been mired with many personal issues in her post Saved by the Bell days. Lark Voorhees publicly battled with her mother after her mom revealed that Lark was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, which the actress denied. After she eloped with music producer Jimmy Green in Las Vegas, her mom filed for a restraining order against him for being a known gang affiliate and threatening her safety. Voorhees defended Green in a confusing interview but ultimately filed for divorce from him after a few months. After the divorce, she later blasted her ex on Instagram for losing his job and violating a restraining order. The post was deleted, and she blamed hackers for it. For what it's worth, she also accused hackers of being responsible for posts claiming she had lupus, for slamming Bill Cosby, and for bolstering Diamond's written claims that her ex-fiancé, Martin Lawrence, was abusive to her. Hey, Preppy. In another one of Dustin Diamond's shocking book reveals, which inspired Lifetime's unauthorized Saved by the Bell story movie, he not only accused his co-stars of regularly smoking marijuana in their dressing rooms, but he also insinuated that Mark Paul Gossler used performance-enhancing drugs to get buff before Saved by the Bell, the college years, commenced filming. Diamond wrote, quote, "...he suddenly exploded with manliness, loading 25 pounds of muscle on his once scrawny frame in, oh, about a month." End quote. Screech Shutout 
After throwing so many of his co-stars under the bus, Diamond recanted some of the words in his book, saying that it was largely ghost-written and he was manipulated by his publisher. It may have been too little too late, because he was noticeably not involved with either of the major cast reunions that took place over the years. I, I, will say. I actually don't have a hard time doing this for some reason. <laughs> The book was ultimately panned by several of his co-stars as a negative and unrealistic look at their shared history. Like, it is. I negative. know everybody. That I must say, show. it's like everything that I've heard about his book is that it is negative, and I, I don't remember those things. Lopez, however, stayed true to being a diamond apologist and interviewed his former co-star himself about his arrest and book, telling Screech to his face that it didn't exactly paint a flattering picture of his fellow castmates. Diamond agreed, saying that it was fabricated by publishers and that he wanted to put everything behind him. He also publicly apologized to his former co-stars in November 2016. I will say, uh, guys, I think you're fantastic. Working with you has been a, just one of the icons of my life. And uh, I'm sorry that this has taken advantage of me. You know, the, the book and other situations I'm sure we'll talk about here. Uh, but I'm sure that you've experienced downfalls as well in your time. And I'm still loving you guys. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.